Our defences are working good, boys. So what we, that's what we need. Our defences to work. Keeps the hordes away. And plus, if we're quiet at night, the hordes kind of move on. So, that's a good, that's a good thing. Exactly, man. It's fucking awesome. It's nice and quiet. I like it. So, you managed to find the zombie hunter, but you didn't kill him? What am I giving you protection for, and food for, and supplies for, if you can't fulfill this simple task? Well, are you going to speak, or are you just going to stand there and look like you're trying to intimidate me? Which, that does never work. So, why did you not kill him. If you're not going to speak, go out there and look for this madman. Otherwise, you can kiss goodbye to the safe haven we have here for you. What another peaceful night. I'm on watch and there's not one zombie about. It's beautiful. Yo, guys. There's a garage over here. There appears to be survivors inside. Let's go help them out. Actually, better yet. You guys go inside, try and see if they want to come with us, or we're outside and see if any more of these zombies show up, deal? Hey, just one more thing. My daughter can't stay here. What? Soon I won't be in my right mind. I don't want to hurt her. We'll take her to the lifeguard. He can't protect her. Not like you can. I want you to take her. Uh, sorry, Bubba. No way. Hey, is this what you need? Then give me what I need. What are you saying, Dad? I'm not going anywhere. No, honey, honey, listen to me. You have to, honey. There's nothing for you here now. I'm not leaving you. Look, look at me. Look at me. I love you. And this is how I want you to remember me. You promised me you'll take care of her. She'll come with us. Dad, no! Dad! You go on now. And don't you lose hope. Live your life. I love you. Yo, just let you know, that girl, I think her dad is bitten. He wouldn't send her away like that for no reason. You know, we got zombies fucking screaming in the distance. <sighs> I'm gonna go and tell that girl that she needs to go and kill her dad eventually. Shit. When you're right, you're right. I mean, yeah, those zombies are getting pretty close. We gotta get the fuck out of here. I'll let you break the news to her. Take her back to our camp, and we'll just tell her that she's gotta kill her dad eventually. Hey there, I know you're not going to want to hear this, but I think you're better off killing your dad. I know he's bitten, so we got to do this shit. 
Listen, I know it ain't good, but you gotta do this. Your dad would do the exact same thing if it was you. Now come on, at least man up a little bit. Accept this world for what it is. Please. I've had to do it, and millions of other people have had to do it. Now come on. I got you. She had to kill her own dad. What kind of fucking sick creature does that, huh? I mean, I know it had to be done, but... <sighs> All we gotta do is stick to the plan of surviving now. Anyway, it's my turn for the shift anyway. So, I'll go and take watch outside. Right team, I'm doing my uh, routes, um, checking this, the perimeter of the fences, everything. There's flies everywhere, and these this 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 general is overgrown, like massive. You know, need to get cut back. I think there's a camp in there. I'm gonna stay tuned. I think I found a camp. Oh, hang on, lads. I think I look finally changing changing there's a camp up here and it looks like there's someone there i'll try and approach them and prove that i'm not hostile hey mate how are you um uh we've got a settlement i can take you back there right now um it'd be much better living here than living there and then living here because uh, you can see you've got clean water I do admit you've got a nice little stream going here, but I think we've got we've got electricity, we've got warm food, everything. So um, if any more zombies come, do you want to come with us? Our settlement is not too far back there, so we've got people cutting the grass. You know, making it as realistic as life was. So if you want to come back with us, mate? You'd be much safer. More people equals more safety. All right, mate. <laughs> Don't try and scare me like this, yeah. I've um, we've got people. We're not, you know, nasty people. We are gonna help people out. We do. We survive together. So, if you're happy being here, zombies can easily get in. You know, we're not too far away. People are cutting the grass right back there, as you can hear them. We're not too far away. Hey, wait. <laughs> Time to die, my friend. <laughs> wait a minute, wait. Wait. You don't have to do this. Please. <laughs> just talk, let's just talk about this, okay? If you don't need to shoot me, please. We're all, we're all in for the same thing. Jesus Christ, come on. No, my friend. It is time for you to die right now. 
My boys in Mother Russia taught me no mercy and everyone must die when the world goes to shit. You are my enemy. You are my employer's enemy. I never speak much, but it's time for you to die again. Wait a minute. Who's your employer? I have no beef with your employer. It's, it's please. Spare, spare me at least. My employer is the white masked man. He gave me shelter. And I don't need your shelter. It's time for you to die again, my friend. Say a goodbye. Hello to your ancestors and goodbye to your life. Okay, well, I can tell that your English is not too good. But come on, don't, don't shoot me, mate, please. I got you, boss. Hey, buddy. What do you want? Are you with this guy? Because I'll kill you too. He is my brother. And nobody, and I mean nobody, fucks with him. You got a problem? Because I'll end your fucking life right now. Let's go. And you made a bad mistake, boy, by turning your fucking back on me. Oh, fucking son of a bitch. I will end both of you. I don't care who you are. Damn, that fucking hurt my hand. When he wakes up, Rook, tie him up to that tree. When he wakes up, we're going to ask him where the fucking white man mask is. That's who he was working for. Well, tie him up then. Hurry up. Uh, where the fuck am I? You motherfuckers, you better make sure I do not get out of this alive. <laughs> you ain't getting out of this one alive, mate. Your employer is going to be short one employee. I've been wanting to say that. I don't know if I'd say that, Rook. But it sounds good. It sounds good. But anyway, um, do you want to tell us where his base is? Where he's hiding? Because you weren't there last time. And obviously, for you to attack me, you must know who I am. And I'm guessing, yeah, you know, you know who I am. And I bet you know where I sleep. So, can't have you walking around. Gotta kill you. Hey, asshole. You better tell us where the fuck he is. Because you see that hole right there? I fucking dug that while you was passed out. Now, I got no problem burying you, cunt. So, fucking tell us where he is, or I'll fucking kick you again, like I just did. <laughs> You will never break me. I swore by my mother Russia's off in the army that I would never surrender. I thought I was dead when I was blind. But now I see the world is always going to be shit. So if you want to kill me, go ahead. But it'll be worse for you when I survive. It'll be worse for you if I die. So you're fucked either way. <laughs> you agree that we should kill this fucking prick right now? Cause I'm not listening to any more of this rusky shit. I'm gonna shoot him. And I will shoot him. We need to find out where his base is first. Where the white man mask is, la is laying. I mean, we need to know where he is. <sighs> you already know where this goddamn prick was. He attacked us, remember? You know? Why, do you think he's moved or something? Cause it'd be a smart ass move to move if, I, if my camp was attacked. If that was his camp at least. I'd be out of there a long time ago. I'd, I'd move away as far away from here. Don't want to fuck with us. Exactly. So if he's moved, we need to find out where he is. Or at least fucking, you know, know where he is so we can stay away from him or at least try and keep our distance. Just put the gun away, man. We need, him, we need to know where he is. I am never going to talk to you. So you're best off just killing me. Well, what a good eye fucking dear. You're the, that's the best idea you came up with. <laughs> Jesus, man. Great, now we're never gonna know where he fucking is now. All we, got, all we gotta do now is just look for him. I've got a radio command and tell him that the guy we was watching, he's fucking dead. Took him out. Get digging that fucking hole while I radio our base. Fucking rock, man. You're getting out of fucking control, buddy. 
<coughs> right. And that prick's done. Fuck. That Ruski was heavy. Well, let's see you try and work your way out of this ditch. Prick. Yeah, HQ, it's me. Uh, we found the guy who was uh, scouting our camp. And uh, Rook put him down. He was Russian. He wasn't going to speak anyway. He kept saying, uh, kept saying I'm never going to talk. And Rook, Rook's had enough and just shot him. And yeah, he's getting a bit... He's going to be, to be a loose cannon. Yeah. Okay, uh, we're coming back anyway. I uh, don't know if we're going to find any survivors on the way, but um, Rook's just collecting the ammo, and I think he... Well, he's burying the guy right now. Yeah, he's burying him, so if anyone comes across, the zombies don't get a free meal, and his men will probably never know where he is. So, um, <clears throat> yeah. Hey, Rook, what, what, what was with you back there, man? You never know me, this fucking crazy. I mean, I know you're in the army and seeing that guy knows you and everything, but come on, that's a bit crazy, man, come on. You know, a bit, there's no need for it. So, what's, what's your problem? What's, what, why'd you go all psycho? I don't know, man. The white man mask, you know, he was my old boss, you know. He was the he was my old boss, and then seeing this fucking prick turn up, you know. I mean, so what? I fucking abandoned my people when I was there. I wasn't as bold as I am now, and you know, it was it was it was in a village, small village. What am I supposed to do? You know, get myself killed and not go home and see my 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 fa my family again. I mean, you wouldn't understand what it's like to live with that guilt every single day. Well, in the future, just calm your ass down. I do, and I, especially, I do know what it's like. You know, I had a girl when I was, before this world went to shit. You know, we were engaged and now look. I don't even know if she's fucking alive in this. I don't, I, don't, I don't know if she's moved on. I don't know if she's alive. Don't, I don't know anything. One thing I know, there was a nuclear explosion. That was it. We need to stick together on this. All right? Come on, let's go back home.